Hello, my name is Ali Braidwood and I run the Scottish cultural website Scots Way Hay and host the accompanying podcast. But I was also an editor on Alastair Gray's Off Me and Others, his collection of essays and non-fiction, which was originally published by Cargo Publishing. And I have been asked to pick my favourite section of Lanark, um, an almost impossible task, but I have gone for a passage which I think almost sums up a book which is almost impossible to sum up. Uh, and it's where Alistair himself makes an appearance. I am your author. Lanark stared at him. The author said, please don't feel embarrassed. This isn't an unprecedented situation. Vonnegut has it in Breakfast of Champions and Jehovah in the books of Job and Jonah. Are you pretending to be God? Not nowadays. I used to be part of him, though. Yes, I am part of a part which was once the whole. But I went bad and was excreted. If I can get well, I may be allowed home before I die. So I continually plunge my beak into my rotten liver and swallow and excrete it. But it grows again. Creation festers in me. I am excreting you and your world at the present moment. This arsewipe, he stirred the papers on the bed, is part of the process. I am not religious, said Lanark, but I don't like you mixing religion with excrement. Last night I saw part of the person you are referring to, and it was not at all nasty. You saw part of God? cried the author. How did that happen? Lanark explained. The author was greatly excited. He said, say those words again. Is, 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 then a pause, then is, if, is, if, shouted the author sitting upright. He actually said, if. He wasn't simply snarling, is, 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 all the time. Lanark said, I don't like you saying he like that. What I saw may not have been masculine. It may not have been human. But it certainly wasn't snarling. What's wrong with you? The author had covered his mouth with his hands, apparently to stifle laughter, but his eyes were wet. He gulped and said, one if to five is's? That's an incredible amount of freedom. But can I believe you? I've created you honest, but can I trust your senses? At a great altitude, is and if must sound very much alike. You seem to take words very seriously, said Lanark with a touch of contempt. Yes, you don't like me, but that can't be helped. I am primarily literary man, said the author with a faint nasal accent and started chuckling to himself. <laughs>